so basically simple harmonic motion is an oscillatory motion where the restoring force on a particle is proportional to the displacement from the main position that means say suppose this is a straight line and particle is oscillating to and fro in this path so the midpoint this is known as the mean position or it is also known as the equilibrium position so and these two are the extreme positions so this one extreme this one is also extreme position so in shm the restoring force on a particle that means if the particle is at this position suppose this position and its displacement from the mean position is x so the restoring force on the particle is directed towards mean position and is proportional to the displacement from mean position say for example if you consider here x equal to 0 and say this is the positive direction of the x axis then if i can write the restoring force f equal to minus kx where k is the proportionality constant okay and uh, this extreme to mean position this distance is known as the amplitude of the shm so this one in this diagram this extreme to mean position so a for amplitude right amplitude of the simple harmonic motion right so what is one complete oscillation say the particle moves to and fro like this so one complete oscillation say if i take the starting point from this mean position so particle going towards the right again comes back passes through the mean position again goes to this extreme left extreme and again passes through this mean position again so this is one complete cycle so this t is time period of shm time period of the simple harmonic motion that is it is the time to complete time for one complete oscillation okay so our basic guiding equation will be this f equal to minus kx and also uh, quite obvious that that particle at the extreme positions velocity will be zero at both the extreme positions velocity will be zero as the when the uh, so at the extreme positions the particle has to stop and then only it can reverse its direction of motion so uh, next page we will discuss about derivation of the equation of simple harmonic motion okay so so equation of shm so as we see this is a mean position or equilibrium position obviously you see f equal to minus k x so when x equal to 0 then the force on the particle is 0 obviously that is the equilibrium position so this is a coordinate x and f equal to minus k x now we will begin the derivation from here so f means m v dv dx equal to minus k times x next line m v d v equal to minus k x dx then integrate what will be the limits of integration say at a general value of x the velocity is v and we should know one of the extreme values you know that uh, so x either it is plus a or minus a the speed should be 0 so this is 0 no sorry let us put here 0 velocity will be 0 so this should be a 
a or minus a, it won't matter actually okay so from here implies m v square by 2 equal to so this will be k by 2 as there is a minus sign we will get here a square minus x square therefore v equal to root over of k by m multiplied by root over of a square minus x square implies v i can write at dx by dt equal to root over of k by m into root over of a square minus x square right so let us integrate and arrange and integrate this so dx by root over a square minus x square equal to root over k by m times dt again integrate uh, here comes the question that we do not know that at, at time t equal to 0 where is the particle so we do not know so we do not know the extreme, condi uh, extreme conditions or the boundary conditions so we will uh, do it like definite uh, the indefinite integration so you know if you integrate this thing you will get sin inverse x by a equal to root over k by m t plus an integration constant now if you check it dimensionally so uh, sin inverse x by a is an angle so we can name it c but as it is an angle so we consider phi to be the constant so implies the equation of SHM so x by a is sin of root over k by m t plus phi implies x equal to a sin root over k by m t plus phi. So this is the general equation of the SHM. let us study it in more details so in the last page we have derived equation of SHM is a sin of root over k by m t plus phi okay let us find the physical significance of it now uh, we can find the time period of the simple harmonic motion from it what is time period basically it is say at any time t at any time t the position or the coordinate is x then at time t plus capital T so this capital T is the time period so this is the minimum time after which x will be same so it will have same position position in x but only position won't do because it may happen that in a simple harmonic motion suppose uh, at a certain time the particle is at the mean position so it goes towards the right and returns back so the x coordinates match so that is however not one time period no you know one time period is this starting from here going towards the right extreme again passing through this again through the left extreme like this right that means one complete oscillation so of uh, we can match x and we have to match for velocity as well so so at time t velocity is v at time t plus t velocity is the same as v so for the expression for velocity we can differentiate this v equal to dx dt equal to a root over k by m cosine of 
root over k by m t plus phi. So, from the two conditions, so it is at t, so we can write this sin root over k by m t plus phi equal to, let's put a bracket, sin root over k by m t plus t plus phi, right. This is we are, uh, we have matched the positions x. Now, we also have to match for the velocities. So, this will be cosine, cosine root over k by m t plus phi equal to cosine root over k by m t plus capital T plus phi. So, we have to find basically the minimum value of this. Let's turn to next page. Minimum value of this root over so minimum value of root over k by m times t is obviously 2 pi because after a, after a minimum interval of 2 pi the sine and the cosine they repeat right. So, therefore, we can write for time period is 2 pi root over of m by k. Right. Okay. Now, we can also compare simple harmonic motion with uniform circular motion. If you see, if you look at the equation of simple harmonic motion, the equation of SHM is this x equal to a sin root over k by m t plus phi, right. Now, the what is the unit of root over k by m? Obviously, it is radium per second because root over k by m into t is radian. So, root over k by m has unit of radian per second. So, we can abbrev uh, we can give it a name omega equal to root over k by m. So, the equation becomes a sin omega t plus phi. Okay. Now, we can compare this with the uniform circular motion. So, if you have a uniform circular motion, UCM having angular speed omega and radius r, uh, sorry, uh, radius will be same as A. Then SHM will be projection of UCM. Now, in our next page, we will see this in details how SHM becomes projection of the uniform circular motion. Let us uh, draw an uniform circular motion here. Now, this is the reference line and all the anti-clockwise angles are positive counterclockwise angles are positive. So, it is uh, UCM angular speed omega and say the particle in SHM uh, sorry particle in UCM is at this position at time t equal to 0 and this angle is phi and after a time t so, at time t equal to small t itself, time t. So, how much angle does it traverse? So, omega multiplied by t and this is the amplitude, uh, this is a radius which is same as a. Okay. Now, let us take a projection of this UCM on the y axis I mean on this vertical direction. So, projection as of you know that 
if I send a parallel light beam parallel to the x axis like this then the shadow of this UCM will appear as the projection. So for finding the projection I will draw this dotted line dot red line okay. here it is okay. now you see this is a and this is a also and this the shadow the projection of this particle in UCM is here at time t equal to 0 and at time t equal to t the projection of this particle is here time t equal to t and what is the distance at time t equal to t what is the distance from this mean position this is the mean position so this distance as you say this is a so it is this perpendicular right this perpendicular if you drop on the reference line this is the same length so this length is a sine omega t plus phi and you have to consider the x axis from here starting from here it has to go vertically up this is the x axis Right. So, this projection you see if the UCM in this circular motion particle goes like this, this here and this is a shadow see this is a shadow here. like this. So, basically we see projection of this UCM on, on this vertical line is simple harmonic motion. So, now from this you see uh, this approach also by the way this is known as a reference circle. Why reference circle say a particle is in simple harmonic motion obviously there there may not be any realistic circular motion. Now. So, for reference we take this circle. So, that as we see that as we see that in this circular motion when this particle in circular motion completes one cycle its shadow or projection also completes one full oscillation. So, suppose that is the time let us start from here to here one cycle and this particle by the time that shadow goes from here back to here and here. So, the time period we can say that time period of SHM equal to time period of UCM of the reference circle. So, the angular velocity is omega of this circle. So, we can write time period is 2 pi by omega and omega as you see omega was so much in the derivation omega is root over k by m. So, the time period also we can write 2 pi root over m by k in such cases. So, in the next pages we will discuss about finding equation of SHM. Thank you.